Hey everybody, this is Z from ProCustomizers.com. What we're going to do today is start a new feature that's going to be exclusive to ProCustomizers.com called Cool Tools. What this basically will be is several of the professional customizers from ProCustomizers.com are going to showcase some of the unique tools that they use on an everyday basis during customizing. Uh, one of the ones that I've actually had a lot of requests for since my styrene tutorial is my electric toothbrush sander. Uh, which is basically this right here. Uh, I'm actually going to show you guys how to make one today. Relatively inexpensive as tools go by, uh, especially for customizing purposes. It's a great little fine detail sander. can get into real tight nooks and crannies without taking a lot of stock off. Um, so basically, things you're going to need for this project. Electric toothbrush. I use the uh, Oral-B Vitality. Um, got this I think $30 at the local Target. Every now and then Oral-B will put on their website some rebates. Uh, I know that, that recently they had a $15 rebate, which was nice, would have made this thing half price. Uh, it's a great little rechargeable uh, toothbrush, comes with two heads, which is real nice. Uh, I use low profile Velcro, uh, they're kind of circles, ovals if you want to call them. They come with uh, hook and teeth. Different kinds of sandpaper. I have 120 grit, 80 grit, 150 grit. Uh, all three of these are stick fast or basically adhesive backed. Uh, you'll see how that's important in, in a few minutes. And then I have uh, ultra fine 400, which is not adhesive backed, which is where you're going to use the Velcro. Uh, so that's pretty much the stuff you're going to need that you're going to have to buy for this. All total, you're going to look probably, I would say, conservative about 50 bucks uh, US to do something like this. But it's going to give you a sander that you can't, you can't find anywhere else. Uh, no other product is out there like this, uh, at least that I have found, for this inexpensive of a price. So basically to start, what you want to do is rip into one of these plastic packages without cutting yourself open as I did. Uh, you're going to take the second head and toothbrush out. Now to start, it comes with the removable... Uh, interchangeable heads. What you're basically going to want to do is you're going to get a real nice thick piece of pliers and you're going to start pulling. You don't want to cut these bristles because if you cut them it's going to leave a little tiny uh, section of the bristle on there and then your sandpaper won't adhere to it. So you want to kind of be forceful, forceful yet gentle with this. So basically I just go in there and I start ripping. Uh, it's going to take some finagling to get those bristles out because they are kind of smooth on the surface. Um, and as you can see, they just kind of all come out. You may need to get uh, some kind of smaller, actually there, that just came out in one big clump. And as you're pulling them out, you'll see these little metal pieces that are in there. That's basically what's hooked underneath the head that keep the bristles in there. What you want to do is be careful you don't want to separate uh, the head from the, the motor aspect, which is why you got to kind of have to be gentle with this. Which I believe me, I've screwed up a couple of these when I first made them. Alright, there you go. Alright, so after pulling out all the bristles and plastic pieces, here's what you're left with. Uh, basically a little bit of a smooth surface uh, with a bunch of holes in it. It is actually a little rough, so what I recommend is just taking some sandpaper or sanding block, sanding that surface nice and smooth. Uh, that way the adhesive back of the Velcro and or sandpaper can stick to it well. Sand both of them. Okay. Now your next step uh, is actually pretty much easy. Let's get rid of this junk. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to do a the Velcro head. Uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your Velcro, open that package up, move my stool. So you have basically two different kinds of Velcro. You have the hook, which is the softer version, and then you have the teeth version. What I like to do is mount the teeth to the actual toothbrush head. So what you'll do with that is you'll pull one of those teeth sections off, put it down on your workbench, teeth down, with the adhesive sticking up and then what you'll do is you'll just stick that head press it down pretty firmly right onto that toothbrush surface then what you can do is you can trim 
trim that excess off. It's very, very sticky. So uh, you may gum up your scissors for a little bit after that, but just use some Google and they'll get that off. Uh, you can take scissors, you can take X-Acto knife, anything that'll, that'll work, of course. But this one doesn't have to be perfect, um, because like I said, you're just going to be adhering some sandpaper to it. So then your next step is take your sandpaper, any grit you want. The good thing about using Velcro is you've got all these extra surfaces you can use, so you can have multiple different heads uh, with sandpaper, 400 grit, 600 grit, 800, 1200, whatever you, uh, you want. Cool thing is you can buy, you can go to Walmart, Target, wherever. You can buy packs of extra replacement heads. Uh, I, I saw one yesterday that had 12 in it, uh, which is kind of nice. So then you can have a, a variety of different sanding surfaces at your disposal. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll take one of these sheets of sandpaper. And this is as simple as lay your sandpaper down on your work surface with the sandpaper down. Take one of the Velcro tooth sections off, and you're going to push it down nice and firm to that sandpaper. And then you're going to cut out that section. So it just leaves you with this little piece. And then you're going to take your scissors, and you're going to cut around the profile of that piece of Velcro until it's pretty much flush with the Velcro. So there you go, that's what you have. And with this, all you do now is just stick it right on there. You can center it, you can offset it, whatever you want. Um, now you can, you can cut this excess off if you want to, uh, so that way you have more of a flush sanding surface, but I like to leave it hang over like that, because if you go to sand something, let's see if I have something we can show you. If you go to sand something, you can actually bend that piece up and it'll give you more of a, a flexible surface and a bigger surface to work with. Uh, so that, that's totally your decision. So basically stick that to the toothbrush and hope this is focusing. There's your surface. It's a nice uh, variable sanding disc. So now you have that one. Let's move on to the next one. This one's actually a little bit even easier. Like I mentioned before, I have different grits of self-adhesive backed sandpaper. <clears throat> Which one I'm going to use for this is I'm going to do with 150 grit. This is more of a permanent head that you're going to use. Uh, the reason I like doing this one is because the surface will now be a harder sanding surface, uh, much like a sanding block, so you can kind of really get in to remove a lot more stock from your project with that. So with this, what I like to do generally is just kind of cut a little square out of the sandpaper. It's just a little bit bigger than your surface. You're going to put that on. Then you're going to fight to get this removed. And hopefully I can do this. I had just cut my nails, of course. Um, sometimes the adhesive back is not the easiest to get off. Oh, 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 I got it. All right. Got it. You can kind of see it. I don't know if you heard that come off. The adhesive back of this sandpaper is extremely sticky. Uh, so you want to be careful not to get your fingers all caught up in there. So stick that down on your workbench. Make sure that that's nice and smooth like I mentioned before. And then what you want to do is just stick that right on there. Now again, you can leave the excess. It's real sticky in the back. With this one, I'm not going to leave the excess. I'm actually going to take my knife and I'm going to cut around that profile as nice as I can without cutting my fingers off. So this way I'll have a nice, perfectly oval sanding surface. To sand with. Oh, left a little bit there. There 
there you go. Like I said, this is this is nice and and stiff, so it's a lot better for stock removal. One of the things you can also do with this, I don't know if this is focusing well, but this uh, surface actually has um, it's about raised about a quarter of an inch. You can actually take the sandpaper and wrap it around that surface, so you, then you have even a, a tighter area to get in there with um, you know with your projects, which is nice. But like I said, the good thing about this is these heads are interchangeable. So if you don't want to go the Velcro route, uh, you can buy 30 different heads and have them all lined up on your workbench with different grits. What I'll do is I'll go back later and I'll write, uh, not so much with the Velcro ones, but with the non-Velcro ones, I'll write the grit on the back of the, the head so I know what I'm working with. Uh, the toothbrush that I showed you comes with a rechargeable base so you never have to worry about batteries. Uh, you can do a battery powered toothbrush, it doesn't give you as much strength as this one does. Uh, but that's basically it. Relatively quick, relatively inexpensive for this type of tool. Um, I haven't ever seen a tool that can do what this does for this, uh, this price. Uh, like I also mentioned, if you're frugal, you can really go out there and, and get good deals and, and maybe make this even closer to $25, $30. Uh, but like I said, on average, you're going to spend anywhere between $40 and $50 depending on what you want to do with it. So, if you have any questions, get in touch with me at info at customsbyz.com or on procustomizers.com. This is going to be one of the first aspects of some of the new things we're going to be doing on ProCustomizers.com in 2012. We're actually going to be doing a whole cool tools section where a lot of the, the customizers on our site will be showcasing tools that they use that may be unique to other people. Uh, we're also going to be doing some new sections such as called Follow Me, where we may do some really basic customizing techniques or even one full project in a step-by-step -step manner and video that uh, you guys can follow along with us to help kind of you know begin your process uh, of customizing um, so that those gonna be some new exciting things to look out for a lot of these aspects will be rolled into our subscriber section so if you're not a subscriber I suggest you sign up now um, so you'll have access to a lot of these features uh, it's relatively inexpensive and we're gonna uh, have some really cool giveaways and some like I said custom classes uh, associated with the, uh, the subscriber section. So, once again, thanks for watching. Hope everybody has a great new year.